Hello, hola. My name is Ana Hernandez. I am 28 years old and I am from Morelos, Mexico. I'm the youngest in my nuclear family of five. I have two older sisters and I have an adorable 10 year old niece. Some of my hobbies involve design, dancing, singing, and cooking. I'm a pastry cook. I have a bachelor's degree in gastronomy and food sciences. I've been working in the hospitality industry for over seven years now. I currently live in Savannah, Georgia and work for the JW Marriott Hotel. In my daily basis, I get to design, create, prepare, and serve fine dining desserts, as well as wedding cakes. I'm very passionate when it comes to learning and understanding different cultures and traditions, and also sharing my own. One of the greatest things that my career has taught me over the years is how easily people can connect through food. Every dish has a unique origin that tells a story. And when you get to learn that, you can understand better how a, a certain society works and thinks. Korea caught my attention first in 2010 when I saw my first K-pop music video. It was Miss A, Bad Girl, Good Girl. It was really cool for me to see a girl group from an Asian country and I just started digging more. Growing up in Mexico, I was very influenced by the American entertainment culture and seeing a high quality production coming from a country that its first language is not English and that I barely knew about because it's on the other side of the world. It opened up my mind into getting to know more about other countries and continents. So before COVID, I got the chance to travel to the US and different countries in Europe. I like hanging out with locals when I travel. That way you can really get to learn the lifestyle. But I never got the chance to visit a country in Asia. When I was in school, it was very easy to learn about China, India, and Japan. I even got to learn how to cook some of their dishes. But I always wonder why nobody thought us anything about Korea. We only knew where it is, the capital, Seoul, and that's it. Nothing more. In 2020, when COVID hit, I was living in New York and I had to go back to Mexico to quarantine with my family. During those days, my interest for South Korea re-sparked with Boy With Love by BTS. I started to learn Korean on my own and investigated a lot more about its culture. I was so fascinated to find little similarities between Korean culture and Mexican culture. There are not a lot, but there are little ones that are very meaningful. For example, Chuseok is one of them. A series of days when you get to reunite with your family, cook food, and place an altar to honor your loved ones that have already passed away. That sounds very Dia de Muertos for me, and that's my favorite holiday in Mexico. Even though we make stuff differently, like we use a certain type of flowers, we, the food is different, we use pictures, but the intention is the same. I'm applying for the Korean Culture Camp 2022 scholarship by AYFN Academy because I think it's a great opportunity to immerse and absorb the Korean culture, learn more about the country, connect with people and share great experiences. Thank you.